not gonna be nice and neat. I've had this laneway and this building um, as a work in progress for two years and I've got to two and a half paintings in that period of time so I thought I'd better just open it up and get a few other people to come down and um, have a go and it's just been fantastic. It's something like, I would say, 12, 13 people here today, just all different artists doing different things and they've, they've all just come down and told their mates and, and gone mad. It's fantastic. There's this dude called Wayne Tyndall who told me about this laneway that he wanted to turn into a funky ass piece of gallery entrance. And uh, so yeah, when I heard there was a space, I thought, yeah, I'd love to be part of that. I've been, been a part of the Windsor community for almost 20 years. And um, I've been sneakily spray painting stuff here and there, you know, to, to bits and pieces. Um, but, you know, finally got an actual space to do something. It's a great idea to have the um, laneway as part of the gallery. Like we've run a gallery in the past and it was just a little shop front. We had a little like um, backyard bit outside and it was sort of like trying to replicate the alleyway sort of feel. So I think you're really lucky to have this space. Like it's great that it backs onto this. I like to have Japanese Sakura or women or just patterns and different stuff like that. Love the Japanese art, artwork um, and the whole philosophy they have over there. Anything goes really I think in street art so I think it's sort of a, a pretty uh, appropriate mix of a gallery and a, a, an art space outside. I started painting like canvas stuff and eventually got into uh, spray painting and it's kind of like helping me understand the process of painting and stuff a lot. You can gentrify an area and you can put prices and all that, but if you drive away the culture, there's no reason for people to come anymore. And I know that a lot of businesses here have been struggling um, in the last year and stuff, so they're trying to think of proactive ways. And one of the ways that these businesses see is to try to bring a bit more art back into the actual community. We go through phases, yeah. And right now I'm on the kind of uh, disintegrating face thing. <laughs> Psychedelic in some way, I guess. It's good if people can come down and hang out as well, paint the walls and it looks good, you know. It's not just a brick wall. Give me one good reason to stay. Everyone's rocking up the galleries a lot these days is just drinking a lot and like they're not really there to see the art it seems. It's sort of hard to get around the room and have a look. And like Especially with street art, it's great to see it actually out in the street in its own environment. Sonnington Council is pretty harsh on their like, buffing of graffiti, so it's not too much like illegal stuff around here. It's mostly legals, but that sort of helps for the, the quality of artwork on display. Oh, I just think the more art, the better. And if, if there's a spot like this that can be opened up to public for, for, for showing art as well as having free art on the walls, and it's you know, great for people. I think it's fantastic because the vibe, you know, word gets out very quick that there's a laneway and stuff's happening. Word of mouth, gallery, you know, laneway art, stuff's happening. People are on it. They love it. Give me one good reason to stay. Give me one good reason to stay. Give me one good reason to stay.